Hey guys, so today, based on what you read on the title, we are going to try a ton of brand new Sigma. Uh, okay, yeah, that would happen to me. Hold on. Sigma products, and I zoom in that. What ha happened was uh, Sigma did reach out and say, hey, we'd like to send you some of our products and add you to our list. And I'm not going to say no because I absolutely have enjoyed so many of Sigma's products. I ended up using this entire bottle up because I wanted to see how my brushes would feel when cleaning it. This here is the Practic by Sigma uh, Liquid Brush Cleanser. That is what it looks like. I need to get a backup because I really, really liked it. It comes with a pump. It is formulated with natural ingredients. It's supposed to remove dirt, oil, and a product build the build up. Can we get it out? It is supposed to remove dirt, oil, and product buildup from your brushes. It is concentrated for easy cleaning. It cleans cosmetics brushes, blenders, and hand. I used it in conjunction with this product over here and this green was so vibrant, I really liked it. It is also uh, their Practique line and basically it is a makeup brush cleaning tool. It is called the Palmette, two-in-one compact, easy to use. You can place it in the sink or you can wear it on your palm. So I did do both because I wanted to see which I would like the best. It does have texture on either side. One side is for washing and then the other one is for refining your tool and then the same on the opposite side. As you guys can see here on B-roll, it was very easy to clean my brushes. It was super effortless. I began by placing the mat into the sink. It stayed pretty well. Um, so I liked the little suction cups underneath and I liked the idea of not having running water 24 seven and just being able to clean more than one brush at the same time time i did end up just strapping it over my hand just to see if i liked it to be fair i do like the idea of it i did prefer the mat being attached to the sink a little better only because i do have carpal tunnel so there are so many times that my hands will just cramp up on me and it's just it, it just gets really irritating and uncomfortable so the idea that you can do either or depending on what you're interested in and what your preference is is freaking awesome but i did like that this is flexible and it has the suction cups and you can just onto your sink they did send two different sets of brushes even though i am not a big fan generally of brushes to apply foundation or like my base i think i'm gonna do it today it's so exciting i'm gonna i'm gonna do it after so many years i'm not really doing it i'm gonna do that it comes with a spotlight duster it comes with the high cheekbone highlighter brush the diffused crease brush and this here also comes with a medium sweeper brush this set over here very different as well. And here it says it comes with the Soft Blend 10, Soft Blend 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. So you have a brush for literally everything on your face in here. Oh, they come in a bag. Look at the. They also sent over an eyeshadow base primer, but this is in stick form, okay? And this is in a nude shade in Radiance. Open. <sighs> So it's a shimmer shade. That's nice on its own. Would I be able to use this on my own? I would use that as an eyeshadow. Look how pretty that is. Then they also sent over their Sinocity Lash. Sinocity Lash. It is It is the Sigma um, Sinocity. Sinos I'm butchering it. <laughs> but it is their mascara. And it looks like this. It is actually like a silicone wands which i prefer brush wands but i will say there have been wands that have surprised me so i don't automatically just shoot them down i definitely try them because there have been some that have surprised me the next item is a sigma infinity point lipstick in the shade epiphany okay this packaging like really like teardrop okay oh this packaging is different. I like that. And this is a beautiful nude. You guys know I live for a nude. Is there a lip liner in here? Probably not. I might have to use my go-to, right? Okay. Oh, it's magnetic. Look. Girl, stop. Look. 
And then next we have the Sigma Gel Eyeliner in Wicked Black. Are you a matte, my friend? It is a matte and it is sealed on the outside so it's not like it would have started drying out, which is great, so that's a matte. They sent over by the Practic line again and this is the Power Blender and this is latex free. That is exciting, but I feel like since I'm gonna use the brush to apply foundation, which I haven't done in forever, I'm gonna put this back in there, but I just kinda wanted to feel. Is it latex free? Kind of doesn't feel like it would be, but it says latex free, so of course it is. And then the last item in the box is this over here. You guys know I'm a sucker for eyeshadows, which I'm excited. Oh, and it comes with a brush. This is the Sigma Enchanted Eyeshadow Palette with a dual-ended brush. So the packaging, look how iridescent and beautiful she is. And then when you open her up, so you have the mattes, but you also have beautiful shimmers. These are like shimmer metallics. That one is beautiful. And this is the dual ended eyeshadow brush that I told you it comes with, of course. It's kind of weird for me because I haven't applied a foundation or a base in such a long time with a brush. So we're gonna go ahead and do that today. Of course, I'm gonna end up using my like favorite go-to on an everyday basis. This is the Beauty For Real MVP Perfect and Protect. It is a tinted moisturizer that has SPF 25. It also has a concealer on the opposite side. It also has a primer properties in it. So it's one of those things like it's an all-in-one. Do one of those, do one of those. If you're wondering what shade I'm in, I am in the shade medium, medium number two. And then I'm gonna bring you guys close and I'm just going to do one of these. Again, I mentioned this is a medium two. It is a tinted moisturizer, so it's not gonna give me like mask face, you know, like one of those super heavy coverages, but it's going to give me a decent amount of coverage. And this has been my go-to because I don't want anything super heavy, especially since it's hot outside. It's one of those things like you just want some nice light coverage and you can still see a little bit of my freckles on my nose, freckles on the side of my face over here. You can see the imperfections, but it balances everything out. I have to bring my mirror up closer. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me grab another mirror while we're at it. This brush is actually not bad. <laughs> okay. You know, I just find it somewhat tedious to like do this when with my sponge I do that, but I literally applied the same amount of the tinted moisturizer than I would with my sponge. And I'm getting basically the same coverage with this. What brush is this? The F80 by Sigma. And I, it's so pretty, right? Okay. I'm looking glowy. I look healthy. But I still look like it's my skin, which is great. So what do I want to do next? Okay, I lied. I went and I wet the sponge because I figured since I have to apply concealer, I might as well try out the sponge. She did get a lot bigger once I wet her. So she's nice and soaked with some water. I didn't wring out the water. And we're gonna go ahead and apply our concealer really fast. A little bit is gonna go a very long way with this concealer. And then we're gonna use the flat angled side to blend our product. Okay, so this is a really nice sponge. I always love when they have a pointy edge versus a flat edge because it allows you to really get into the inner corner and look at that. She didn't take up all of my product. She blended it out really nicely. Now granted, we can go a little heavier. Let's see what it looks like if we apply more concealer. Not that I need it, but I wanna see, can we build up the concealer? And if we did, would it lift my concealer away? Which would kind of suck, let's be honest. So um, let's hope for the best, but here we go. And instead of like swiping, which is not necessarily a good thing, you just tap. So that's what I am doing. And she is, she's building. She's building really well. Okay, girl, I see you. I see what you're doing. So no, she does not lift your concealer all out of its place or move it around. You do get really nice coverage. And look at that too doesn't have a lot of concealer on the sponge. We're gonna apply some of the eyeshadow base onto my lid, and then I'm gonna use a brush to blend it out. This here is the medium sweeper, and I'm going to just use it at an angle, blend it out really well. I mean, it does make a really pretty eyeshadow, doesn't it? 
We're not gonna use it as an eyeshadow today, but I dare to do that and I will. Since I have this sweeper brush on hand, I figured why not just start off with this one. I'm gonna go into the shade Innocent, which is a really light mauve pink and it's really pretty. So we're gonna tap that all over the lid. The pigmentation's already there, I like that. Let me see a little closer. I'm gonna grab their diffused crease brush and I'm going to apply the shade Loam, not Lone, but with an M, Loam. And we're gonna tap out. We're gonna take her on here. Now I know it looks pretty harsh, girl. We're gonna blend it. That's why you should always tap out, okay? And then we're just gonna blend that shade onto the crease area and blow it out just a little bit. Now this looks really pretty already. We can keep it really neutral, kind of like Aunt Plain Jane-ish, but I'm looking at these two pink shades. Are they not pretty? But this one's really pretty, like a rose gold, but this one here is like princess. So we're just, hmm, just because I can. Oh, it does add shimmers. I just wanted to pop a little bit of this on the lids and see if we can transform it just a little bit. And we can. I'm all about that pink and like brown life. I think pink and brown is so classy. I've dusted off my fake and now I want to add a little bit of ump to the lower lash line, but I don't want to overdo it. So I'm going to use the shade Terra, which is like a deep terracotta. And I'm just going to smoke out the bottom just a tiny bit. These eyeshadows are blending like butter. Like, are they not? Look, they're just there i love this really pretty and this blush is everything like i'm just gonna dip my brush into here it is very creamy and we're just gonna create a wing and see how this goes whatever's left on my brush i'm going to apply to my waterline just to make it nice and dark that eye looks really pretty and it's very simple to put together, so that's awesome. Oh wait, no, I totally forgot that, um, yeah, before I apply lashes, I have to apply mascara. So let's try this Sigma mascara and see um, how I feel about it. It does have a little bit of a curve. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Oh, it's nice and like moussey. It's not like super duper wet. You know what I'm liking though? It's separating my lashes really well very black you see what i'm saying like it's really separating which is awesome it definitely added drama to the eye with just one coat thing about my lashes is my top lashes are very long and heavy so it that's why i wear lashes because it kind of when i apply mascara they're weighed down so it's not the mascara's fault it happens with every single mascara but i generally would have to apply more than one coat the bottom is looking flawless though, so I'm liking that. While I'm at it, I figured let me just apply a little bit of highlighter. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Armor Resi collab. And I'm gonna use, oh, I picked the right brush too, just by looking at it, because I'm that right. <laughs> this is the F03 High Cheekbone Highlighter. I'm gonna take her, and I'm just going to do one of these. And then I'm going to, there we go, apply her. Just by looking at this one, I knew she was the one. So we're gonna do one of those. And you know what I like? That this one is so thin. We're gonna um just pop some of this up here. Why not? So it'll capture the light really nice. And we are back. As you can see, the rest of my face is completely done. I've been highlighted. You guys saw that here on camera, but I've been contoured. I applied some lashes. That's a separate video you guys will see very, very soon, but yes. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and dive on in to Epiphany, this beautiful, beautiful nude. Let's see what it looks like on my uh, complexion. And if I need a liner, then you guys know which one I'm gonna grab. Ooh, I don't even think I need a liner actually. That's a pretty shade, super peachy pink. This is what it looks like once it is applied. I think my face is looking pretty, pretty fly right about now. I think all the items were absolutely stunning. I personally fell in love with the eyeshadow palette, of course. And I'll admit the F80 and the F03 were really good brushes. I feel like I'll continue to use this one. I wanna use it for like cream contour and see how it works, but I really like the way my foundation turned out. It looks pretty, pretty good. With that said though, let me know down below what do you guys think. Have you tried the Enchanted palette? How do you guys feel about these items? And um, just be prepared because we're going to be using these here on my channel a lot. 
going forward because they're really, really good. Okay, guys, that is a wrap up for yet another video. I am on a roll today, which is absolutely amazing. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it because it helps me with YouTube analytics and all that crazy stuff that happens behind the scenes. With that said, make sure you check out the videos that are popping up on screen. I know you're going to absolutely love those as well. And I'll see you guys very, very soon.